the origin of religion the root of religion is imagination we can imagine a world where there is no hunger and death and so we imagine heaven we can imagine a being that is sensitive and kind and generous and unconditionally loving and so we imagine god take away imagination and there is no heaven or god it is a world where there are no possibilities forces of nature early tribal societies saw god in forces of nature and its many rhythms they mapped their lives to these rhythms religion celebrated the change of seasons migrating and breeding cycles of birds fish and animals flowering of trees and movements of stars and so came about rituals songs and dance full of rhythm rhythm of nature with the agricultural revolution we had learned how to control the rhythms of nature we could decide what food crop to grow and what should be pulled out as wheat some plants came to be more valued than others animals could be caught and bred the rhythm focused on sowing and harvesting but harvest was not predictable sometimes there was plenty of food at other times there was scarcity our control over nature was an illusion worship of fertility goddesses began perceived as those who could ensure great harvests and improve breeding capabilities of livestock as those who could kill demons that caused drought and disease food stock had to be protected from thieves so began the worship of guardian gods who protected the village different gods the different gods of different cities fought with each other as they had different rules and measures of justice there was need for one god one greater than other gods the father god who disciplined all who was distinct from the cities farms and from the forest thus polytheism gave way to monotheism different people fought as to whose god was the only real god all through as human society made its journey from tribal to agricultural to urban societies everyone wondered what it means to be human elements exist to be eaten by plants plants exist to be eaten by animals animals exist to be eaten by other animals mental constructs as we logically analyze the world today we realize that notions of gods and god goddesses and goddess demons and devil are various mental constructs to help us go through life they are not real in the sense they are not measurable but they are real in the sense of psychological serving as anchors for the unfettered restless and frightened mind take away religion and you take away anchors for the human mind like maps religions provide humans with maps that help them navigate through life yes religions cause violence because from religion comes the notion of identity religions locate us in a cosmic super map attack religion and you attack identity a simple fact that rationalist and atheists do not understand often logic manifests as smug self righteousness lacking compassion and that is not a good thing for more interesting videos subscribe to speaking tree youtube channel